What is good, everybody? Welcome to an epic My Damn Toys video. Today, we have another WWE action figure set up for you guys, and this time, it is Horror Edition. Alright guys, so today we do have another WWE action figure set up for you guys, and again, it is Horror Edition. It's the month of October. You guys know how we do over here on the channel. We incorporate the horror figures now and again, and especially in October, we're going to pump it up here in the last couple weeks of October and pump out some horror action figure videos featuring the best of the horror figures from NECA, Mezco, and all these other things. We're very excited for Halloween. We love October so much. The MDT family is a big Halloween family, and we're going to get the season started right now, guys, with this epic action action figure set up of WWE combined with horror. We have plenty of horror icons spread out throughout the backstage area here. We're going to get through it. I'm very excited for it. I love doing these. We did some things over the top in this one. And I don't know if you guys can tell right there, but what we're going to do, guys, is take you through the entire setup, explaining each thing that's happening and take you through the details of the setup. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so I guess we could start off at the beginning of the setup right here at the front, and you will see Michael Myers right here. This is the NECA Michael Myers, and we do have two of those in the setup, but for this first one, you can see that he is wielding this hammer and he has cracked the skull right here of Akira Tozawa. Akira Tozawa's head is literally cracked open. You guys can see there, even with the customization on there, I literally did dremel a hole into the Akira Tozawa head sculpt and you can see that the blood and the crack, he literally put the hammer through the head and he destroyed Akira Tozawa right there and that is just brutal. I even got the paint in there and the blood just seeping through. What a freaking devastating shot by that hammer right there as Michael Myers is taking it out on Akira Tozawa. Really love this Michael figure. That is why we have two of them. And I think we are getting another uh, Michael Myers NECA figure coming very, very soon. So we're really excited about that one. If we come to the left a little bit, guys, you will see Chucky and Tiffany, and you guys will see they have mounted onto the back of the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar. And Brock Lesnar is literally terrified for his freaking life. Just look at his face right there. Here comes the pain, Brad. Uh, yeah, I think it is coming. So Chucky is mounted on the back of Brock Lesnar right there. He's got the knife wielded right there, about to take him out. And of course, you know, you got Tiffany right there with the shovel ready to put him down and bury the body. I guess they, they probably won't bury the body. They'll probably just beat the hell out of him with the shovel and then kill his family. But seriously, really enjoy the, this two-pack from NECA. Very nice figures right here, and I love getting usage out of them here in the setup. So I really appreciate posing them around because, you know, like with the wrestling figures, we get to pose them around and stuff because it's here on the channel, but the only time we pose around the horror figures are on the shelf, so I do like to get them out here and do some different poses with them and bring them to life here in the setup, so these are really fun, and Chucky and Tiffany on Brock look very, very good. Now, guys, we're going to come to the other side of the setup, and this one right here is very gnarly. It looks very vicious. You have Michael Myers, just like the one at the front that you guys saw right here. Same exact figure, but this time he has turned his attention to Kurt Angle. I know he's wearing Triple H trunks. I know he's wearing Triple H trunks, and I already know why that Kurt Angle head on that Triple H body. Well, Brad, it's actually because I dremeled the neck of that cur of that Triple H basic, and I wanted to, you know, dremel it and paint on it and stuff, and I didn't want to get, you know, one of my Kurt Angle elites upset and all freaking bloodied up, so I took one of my custom head sculpts, and I knew that it could pop off easily, so I popped it onto one of my older basics, and I went ahead and painted it up. You guys can see the blood leaking from the throat, from the mouth there, and that is Michael Myers just seconds, mere milliseconds or seconds after slitting the throat of Angle there. What a freaking nice shot right there. That Michael Myers figure looks so good in this position, and I highly recommend you pick up that figure from NECA. Available at Target. But seriously, really enjoy that part. I like that. I like the pose going on right there. Michael Myers getting some good fun out of it. Now, guys, we're going to come on to the other side of the setup, and you guys will see here we have two clowns. Not seriously, but we have Pennywise right here, and he is scaring the hell out of Gold Dust right here, and he's in his face paint. So you can see Gold Dust here terrified. You can see the look on his face. Just like every, everyone in this setup is screaming or scared to death, if you haven't noticed by far. You know, we got we to have the details going in there, but I'm just going to turn Pennywise around for a second here. You can see the creepy face right there. I mean, my God, who wouldn't be terrified? And, you know, with the Penny or It 2 just releasing and, you know, the, the original, I've always been a big fan of both. And I, I really enjoy this, man. This figure looks phenomenal. Gold Dust is scared to death. And for good reason. I mean, who wouldn't be scared to death? If we go a little bit to the left, guys, you will see the remake, the 2009 remake of Friday the 13th. And he is standing here. All he's doing is standing there with the axe. And AJ Styles doesn't really, I guess, comprehend that he's about to run into this. You can see AJ Styles terrified 
running away from part three Jason back here. We got a lot of Jasons in the setup. Part three Jason back here with the harpoon gun about to launch it into the back of AJ Styles. And AJ Styles is running the hell away. But again, I mean, it's it's pretty much a dead end, AJ. I think it's, I don't think it's going to end up well for you. But part three Jason back here looking very nice. And uh, I wanted to add the harpoon gun in the first ever mask kill for Jason into the setup. Speaking of men running away, guys, we do have Sami Zayn right here. And Sami Zayn has the same expression. Probably not as, like, angry looking as AJ Styles is right here. But he is terrified. And you guys can see he's running away. So him and AJ Styles are both uh, getting away from Jason. And for good measure. I mean, everybody in the setup is pretty smart. I mean, I know some people got bludgeoned to death. But... You know, they're trying to get away at least. I mean, they're, they're, they're giving it an attempt. Right here, guys, I really had nothing else to do. This isn't our full horror collection, but I knew when I had both Mezcos out, I did want to do like a little grappling scene between Jason and Michael Myers. This is obviously the Mezco Part 3 Jason and the Mezco Original Halloween Michael Myers, and I did want to make a little setup with them, so they're just here uh, tying up, and I wanted to use those figures, but, you know, they're I'm not big on their articulation. I'm not the biggest, you know, Mezco fan. I do like Mezco, but I think I'm Team NECA. It's just the details, the articulation, and mainly the scaling. I'm just not big on the scale of these Mezcos, but I did want to add them to the setup. Instead of adding more NECA, I went ahead and added some Mezco, changed up the scenery, give them a little tie-up here in the middle of the setup, so I thought that was pretty cool to have Michael Myers and Jason wrestling, and I think Jason would win here. And I'm a big Michael Myers fan, but I, th I think Jason wins here. Coming to the middle of the setup where we started, guys, you will see Leatherface giving it to Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins obviously just screaming in agony, and you got the blood soaked coming out of his mouth. And you guys will see I did dremel into that torso. I dremeled into the torso to get the chainsaw to go down in there, added some skin tone, added some blood there, and you can see that we added the details to the setup, man. We had the details going on. We don't skip over stuff here in the setups. We added some depth to it, and Leatherface is just destroying Seth Rollins torso with that chainsaw and that is what I wanted here in the setup. Almost vomited. What a wicked setup there guys and you can even see the blood spatter on the apron just adds to it as well. That's already part of the figure but I still like it. You know it ties into the torso getting cut and everything like that. So what? that's probably one of my favorite parts of the setup but I do want to know your favorite part of the setup thus far. Let me know down in the comment section below. Even though we're not done hit me down in the comment section below after the video with your favorite part. If we come just behind Michael Myers guys we do have the 2009 remake Jason again and he is about to take out Jimmy or Jey Uso. I can't remember which Uso that is. I think it's Jay, and he is about to take out Jay Uso with the big machete right there, gripping him by the head, and it's just, it's not going to look good. I know that this is supposed to be like an excited face for Jay Uso, but I, I don't think he's too excited right now, Brad. I think that's just what his face looks like in this moment, but I think terror and shock is in his system right now. So Jason about to take it out on Jay Uso right there in the setup. Coming to the middle of the setup, guys, if you guys can see Ultimate Warrior right there, he is terrified as well. I don't know if you guys can see that, but his face is wide open, and for good measure because he's got two clones of Pennywise back here, the remake, obviously. You have one that has a pole through its head, and then you have the one that's just kind of smiling there. I always hate filming these parts of the setups because it's kind of hard to get back here and see, but you guys can kind of see two on one there. Warrior screaming to death. I'm sure he'll be on the run like AJ Styles and Sami Zayn very, very soon. So yeah, Warrior screaming to death. Probably going to try and fight him. Probably won't, probably won't work out good for him. But there's two Pennywises right there, and then we have the Ultimate Warrior. And then to finish off our setup guys we do have a throwback to freddy versus jason from 2004 and i definitely wanted this in my setup you can have them staring down right here like the posing i know this movie isn't the greatest but i grew up on this movie i remember you know when it released in theaters i watched it with my parents when it released in theaters i think i was like eight so that just tells you how i grew up but we've always been a big horror fan we've always enjoyed horror movies and this movie was again again you rewatch it not very good and they make jason look like a jackass but overall i wanted this in the setup and just kind of a throwback call to that and I like this image of them kind of staring down here in the backstage area with Freddy versus Jason. They need to remake that bullcrap. But anyways, guys, I think that does it for this WWE action figure setup horror edition. I do have some more horror action figure videos coming very, very soon in the coming week or two leading up to Halloween. And I'm very excited for it, but I hope you guys did enjoy this action figure setup. I think this is probably one of the more detailed ones. You know, we went in depth. We did some customization. We did some things over the top. And I hope it's appreciated by giving us a like, subscribing, and turning on the bell notifications. And staying tuned to the next video. Again, let me know down in the comment section below, guys, right now, which is your favorite part of the setup. Personally, I think it would either be Leatherface right here on Rollins, Michael's on Angle, or or Michael on Tozawa. I just really like this right here. I just That's just sickening looking. Look at it. Look at it. 
at it. Look 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 at it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Look at it. Here comes the pain bread. Uh, yeah, I think it is coming. Look at it. But that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at my damn toys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.